Hello folks. Well you know the Wright Flyer was invented by Orville and Wilbur Wright, known as the Wright Brothers. They were bicycle and motorcycle enthusiasts and are generally credited with inventing, building, and flying the world's first successful airplane. They made the first controlled sustained flight of a powered heavier than air aircraft on December 17, 1903. The Wright Flyer was launched on a rail because there were no landing gear. In fact, I don't know why they call it landing gear. It should be called takeoff gear and landing gear. <laughs> it was all done four miles south of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Although not the first to build experimental aircraft, the Wright brothers were the first to invent aircraft controls that made fixed wing powered flight possible. One of their employees at the bicycle shop, named Charlie Taylor, was responsible for inventing and building the first airplane engine. He did it in close collaboration with the brothers. While much controversy persists over the many competing claims of early aviators. In fact, their first patent was for the invention of a system of aerodynamic controls that manipulated a flying machine's surfaces enabling it to fly, not for the actual airplane itself. And those controls are still used on aircraft today. Here I'm flying a model of it, flying at the Tucson, Arizona Modelplex flying field. As you can see, the machine's elevator was at the front and the rudder at the rear. This is a difficult machine to fly, even this model, as you really need to use mostly rudder to get it to turn. The wings twist to apply slight aileron control, although the Wright brothers did not even know the word aileron in 1903. So enjoy seeing a flight of this historic machine. It must have been really something to see back in 1903.
Well, we certainly have made serious progress in only 115 years versus the thousands of years before electricity, flying machines, and autos existed. I can't wait to see what's next. So keep it up, Elon. And thanks for watching, folks.